Hello, second grade scholars. Welcome back. Today is March 31st. It's a Tuesday. I drew a little thing of all of us from your teacher saying we love you. All right, let's hop in. So today we are talking about a fruit that is orange. Talk about oranges today. And the person we will be talking about today is Miss V. Let's say Miss V is trying to help out the lunch staff downstairs at the lunchroom and they wanted to know if they had 96 oranges, they're trying to put them into bags where in each bag they want to put an 8, just so they know how many they have. So Miss V is helping them out to put them into bags. Now your job is to figure out how many bags is she going to need. You ready for the question? The question today is, Miss V wants to help put snacks into the snack bin. She has 96 oranges. She puts 9 oranges into each bag so she can put them into the snack bin. How many bags of oranges can she make? We're going to try it one more time. You ready? Miss V wants to help put snack into the snack bins. She puts 96 oranges. She has 96 oranges. She puts 9 oranges into each bag. How many bags of oranges can she make? Alright, we're going to move on to the retelling portion. So, you're going to read the problem, and now you're going to retell. So again, if you're not ready yet, you can pause the video right now so you can reread, you can reread over it. If not, I'm going to just keep going so that you know where to go. Alright, before I say pause, you need to remember that it does not need to be word for word. Do you even see that when I was telling you the story just a little bit ago, I switched it around because I was thinking, well, she's putting it in the snack bins, but they're talking about bags. Well, those bags are probably going into the snack bin. And you're telling it like a story, just like any other ELA story that you know. Pause it now and give it a shot. I'll wait. If you're not ready, you can pause it right now. But if you did, how did you do? Did you do it well? If not, go back, try it again. All right, so now we're going to go through it just like a three read. You ready? Miss V wants to help put snack into the snack bins. She has 96 oranges. She puts nine oranges into each bag. How many bags of oranges can she make? We read it, so now we should Reread it. Read it with me. Miss B wants to help put snack into the snack bin. She has 96 oranges. She put 9 oranges in each bag. How many bags of oranges can she make? Now let's think about what, it, what are they telling you? What is the information that you need to know? First thing that I picked out that we need to know is that she has 96 oranges because you need to know where you're starting on your numbers. Second thing is that she wants to put 9 oranges into each bag so that she can put it into the snack bins. Now you need to think about what are they asking you to do. Yesterday it was a similar problem so today the keyword would be each bag. They're not telling you to just add or just to subtract, they're telling you to put things into bags. And what is the question asking you to do? How many bags of oranges can she make? This is the part where you think about the problem and now you have to do a thumbs up or a thumbs down question. So now let's listen to the problem. You ready? Does this bee make more or less than 96 bags of oranges? It's going to be thumbs up for more thumbs down for less, and it's asking you, is she going to have more than 96 bags of oranges or less than 96 bags of oranges? Pause and tell me your reason of your thumbs up or your thumbs down. Now. All right, I like that you explained it, but now we need to know, can you solve it? Before you solve, I would like to go over some key details in text or in the story. First of all, 
Let's you read the pro you read the problem. We reread the problem. We know the key information, which was that she has 96 oranges and she wants nine oranges in each bag. What they want you to do is put nine oranges into each bag and you only have 96 oranges. What you're trying to solve is how many bags of oranges can she make? Now think of rows, think of columns. Not necessarily exactly what you're doing today, but you can use the rows and columns just like yesterday. Or you can use circles instead of rows and columns to create groups. But I want you to practice doing the rows and the columns. This was yesterday's. I just wanted to, again, think about what you did yesterday. Think about how that can help you today. This was yesterday's problem and how we solved it. Today's problem does not need to look exactly like today, um, yesterday's problem. What I remember us doing is we made circles. Or think about what you would do with bags. You can easily do it like the drawing or the adding and subtracting way like I showed you yesterday. If you need some help, look back, but again, remember that you're solving the bottom problem. This problem. Not that problem. This problem. Your question is 96 oranges into 9 orange bags. Remember you need paper, pencil, a number sentence, word sentence, and you need to be able to explain your answer. Next thing is, if you came up with something that you really want to show me, you can class dojo your teachers, any teacher, and send it to us in picture form. And for my class, you get an extra dojo dollar for showing me your work. So right now, I want you to take the time and actually solve it. I'll see you in a bit. For our first method, I'm going to stick to the same pink color that I used yesterday. So if you want to use this pink method, it's the drawing method. So just like yesterday where I drew, today we're going to draw again. And I wanted to show you... So she wants to put oranges into bags. I'm not going to make it a big deal. I'm just going to draw circles and just draw eight in each. And we're trying to get to 96 oranges. And we only have eight oranges in each bag. So make sure you're thinking about that. So then that's where you can draw eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But that's gonna take a lot of time. So what I thought I can do is go eight, Eight. eight plus eight is 16. 16. Add eight more, I get 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24. You can do it like that. You saw me use my fingers. If not, you can do it on the side, which I can show you. I did eight plus eight, 16. Now I can do 16 plus eight. 24. If not, you can just literally do the circles. 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32 in this one right now all together. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty, sixty one, sixty two, sixty three, sixty four. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. 73, 70, oh, right, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 
I'm actually just going to do that mentally. I know that 80 plus 8 more is 88. 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. Hold up. 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. I knew that. And... We're at 96. So let's see how many bags we actually used. We used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 bags. If you want to see that in a better way, I can actually number them right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If you had less, like if you had 90 five oranges you would still have this 12th bag but you would not count it being like you would have 11 bags and five oranges left or if you had too many you would have like these two or three that are like left over you would just leave them on the outside you would not put them into a bag because it's not eight in a bag so you would have these bags and then you would have whatever is left over on the outside or if you have enough to split them up in two quarters or halves and put them as a fraction, you can do that too, but we haven't really learned that yet. Second method is to add, and I did this in green last time, so I'm gonna do it in green this time again. You're just going to add up until you reach your number. Your number right now is 96 oranges. And you're going to add eight every time because it's eight oranges in each bag so we're going to start with eight and we're going to add eight more so every time there's an eight i'm saying that that's a bag i'm just going to draw a line out so i can count them easier so i don't have to go back and circle or anything so eight plus eight 16 i know that because that's a double stack eight more there's my eight 8 plus 6 is 14, so 24 right now, plus 8 more. That's my line. Or oh, you know what? Oh, no. I'm just going to circle them as I went. Instead of the lines, because I keep drawing my lines out too long. 8 and 4 is 2. 1 more is 3. Awesome. And then now 8 more. Oh, that's a 10 back, so 8 and 0. 40. 8 more equals 48 because 8 and 0. I have to move it up. 8 more. That's 16. That's 56. We're almost there. We still need to get to 96. So 4, 64. Add 8 more. 2, 7. Add 8 more, 0, 80, 8 more, 8 more, oh, no, 6, what am I doing? Oh, there we are, we are at 96, Ooh, all the way on the bottom, sorry, and then we're just going to count all the 8s that we had, starting from the top, right here. I'm going to switch pens so I can make this easier for you to see. So that's one bag. That's two bags. Three bags. Four bags. Five bags. Six bags. Seven bags. Eight bags. Ooh, eight bags. Nine bags. Ten bags. Eleven bags. And twelve bags. So right now we need twelve. Or we will make twelve bags of oranges. All right, the last method, which I did in orange last time, and I'm gonna do it in orange again this time, is subtracting them. So you're gonna start off with your total, which is 96 oranges. I'm gonna take away eight, because then we're gonna put it into a bag. So now you can't do that, so that's an eight, that's 16, 88. Subtract another bag, that's another bag, put it into a bag. Sorry, I'm trying to make like a bag here. It's looking like an eight. Now it looks like a ring, but it's okay. That's zero, so now we're down to 80. So we bagged it up again. Can't do that. 
So I'm going to do 7, 10 here, 22 down there, 7, 72. Take away another 8 because we're putting another 8 into a bag. Draw them like this, like bunny ears. There you go, bag. Can't do that because the 8 is bigger. So 6, 12 up here, 46, no, 64. Sorry, I keep switching the numbers in my head. Put that into another bag. Can't do that, so that's a 5. That's 14. That will be 56. Put into another bag. 48. Put into another bag. 40. Keep going. Sorry, I keep sliding over, so I'm just trying to correct myself. 32, that's another bag. Take away that. That's another bag for that because that's an 8. 24, I think we're almost there. Subtract another 8. That's another bag. 16, subtract that 8. That's a bag. You get 8, and then you have to subtract that 8, and that's your last bag right here, and you have 0 oranges left. So now we're going to go and count the bags that we drew. My bag started to get really weird towards the end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So we ended up with 12 bags. Miss Park's S's are coming out again. Now that you solved and saw my different ways of solving, now I want to go over the last part of number sentence, word sentence. My number sentence would look a lot like yesterday's with starting with my whole 96, I would subtract all the way to get to zero, and then I would add up all the eights. It was eight, 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 and there's 12 of them. Or you did the adding up way and you got eight this many times to get 96, and it was 12 of them. What you showed me was, oops, I made a mistake right there. What you showed me was, you did 8 times 12, which is 96, or 12 times 8 is 96. My word sentence is, Miss V will have 12 bags of oranges. Alright, scholars, great job today.